Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. Yeah, now this one. Why his ears look like dwarf ears? See them little pointed ears. Andrew Gillum. Now, if y'all did not follow Andrew Gillum's um, expose, I don't know where y'all have been. Now, uh, it's always been in the woodworks, okay? According to Funky Dineva, because he went to FAMU. Um, I guess it's where Andrew Gillum, the former mayor of Tallahassee, went. Um, you know, he ran for governor, lost that, of course. And I think he kind of hit a depression. Claims he, you know, has been fighting alcoholism. Let me drink for him. But anyway, as after them pictures surfaced, you know what? It would drive me to drink more. But he said he went to rehab. I said, hey, 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 that's how you deal with stuff? I, you know, that's how I deal with it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, but anyway, so back to Andrew Gillum. Now, uh, the pictures came out. He was uh, bald on the floor, butted, butted ass naked, okay? I don't know if any discharge was coming out of his asshole or not. I don't know. I didn't see that. I didn't zoom in on the photos or nothing like that. But there was a male escort in the room that had, I guess, apparently uh, OD'd. Um, and then there was another old man in there. They found drugs, paraphernalia, and uh, Andrew Gillum on the floor covered in his own vomit. And there were pictures. Now, when I saw the pictures, I honestly thought it was a setup, okay? Because I was like, this is too clean. Okay, it's too clean. It's too easy. I think they drugged him. The escort was paid because, you know, escorts, they, they, they will set you up. Okay, women escorts do it. So men escorts will set that ass up, too. And I think they set literally his ass up, asshole and all. And um, that's why he was on the floor like that vomiting. Now, um, pictures came out. I really felt bad because I'm like, I don't know what politician he pissed off or what part of the government he pissed off for them to really put him out like that. But y'all black men better be damn careful around here, okay? Because the government, listen, if they can't, if they can't shoot your ass, all right, they're gonna embarrass your ass. And you ain't gonna be able to work no more. That's how they get you. They kill your they kill your spirit and your pockets. Now, and they kill both in this case. Now, he is uh doing, I guess, a confession. With Tamara Hall. Is it Tamara Hall? It's Tamara Hall. Okay. Shout out to that sister for getting that interview. That's a strong ass interview, especially, you know, for season two. I heard her season one did do so well, but season two did amazing. And uh, this interview during the pandemic is I'm going to be right there. But I just thought when I was listening to the trailer, I was just like, why is he speaking out? I, I forgot about it. I literally forgot about it. I didn't even know that he was out here trying to do interviews, but I'm like, but when you bring that back up, you relive that experience. And I just think it's just, it's a bad taste in everyone's mouth. Now, the, the part about him being uh, playing on the other team, about him not, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Do I think, can, can I prove that Andrew Gillum is gay? No, but do I think that he's gay? Yes. And the reason being is that he, you know, even on the interview, his lips was like, nah, I know it ain't got shit to do with anybody's lips when it comes to their sexuality. But I noticed he always looks way better and way cleaner than his wife. Now, his wife is a beautiful black woman, but she honestly looks like his mother. The pictures that Jasmine and I looked at yesterday, I was just like, uh, I think this is a cover up so that he can get into politics. And now that everything is out, if I was him, I would just go and just live my life. Now, I know he got too many children to do it, especially in the pandemic. And he's not working right now to try to divorce a wife. But I honestly think Andrew Gillum does play for the other team. And I just think he just needs to be free. And I, I honestly think the LGBT community is so big that he may even end up getting elected, especially in Florida. Florida got some interesting people. AdamandEve.com I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service, so you can order at 3 a.m. If you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days, no hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to AdamandEve.com. Use the code Tasha. K for 50 percent off one item plus free shipping in the u.s and canada some exclusions apply now but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come reverse y'all remember that damn song don't y'all laugh at me why 
nose, but for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this shit once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit embracepangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. I did not tell y'all last week that this man, listen, first of all, the wife, I, she's a beautiful woman in the face, okay? The body looks a little dwarfish. I understand that's because of the kids. I think she got some squares and stuff. This is Andrew Gillum, and we're talking about his wife. Um, I told y'all last week, okay, that Andrew Gillum was gay. I don't think anybody was surprised. And I told y'all during that, doing that interview that he did with Tamron Hall, I wouldn't have done it, okay? Everybody had forgotten about him being ass naked, in the hotel room, laying in his own vomit, okay? And there was some old man there with some needles, and there was a paid escort, okay? And he said, you know, in so many words, that he was there with the escort on a rendezvous. The wife was at home with the kids. And, um, yes, he confirmed to Tamron Hall during, an, uh, I guess, a tell-all exclusive. I don't know why he was doing it. I don't know if he's trying to, like... I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get the LGBTQ on his side. It's like, you've been denying them all this time. Why they gonna stand behind you now? But anyway. Um, and so, yes, he, he confirmed. He said he's not gay. He's bisexual. Y'all be quiet, baby. Come on. Now y'all can say, hmm. <laughs> yes, he's not gay. He's bisexual. Okay? And I said, I said he's only saying that shit for his wife. That's the only reason he's saying that he's bisexual, okay? He married that woman to cover up his sexuality and not in the South. He's only saying that to make her feel comfortable. And like I said, if I were his wife, his ass wouldn't have said nothing, okay? You're just going to pack your bag and you're going to go move in with Mark. That's what you're going to do, okay? <laughs> Me and the children going to be just fine. Send us a child support check because I know Mark got some money. He got good credit and he's 35 with gray hair slicked to the back and he got a part on the side, okay? You know what, Mark? He wear a little tight uh, body shirts, a little Calvin Klein shirts, okay? And that's what we've been messing with all them years. So I'm like, don't get up here trying to save face with your wife and then your wife sitting there stupid, Okay? Talking about, oh, this is our relationship, and I don't know. You know, I, I was totally taken back by our voice. I said, now, she from Florida. We don't talk like that. We don't. Now, when she sat there, she was like, you know, they was like, how do you feel? Well, would you have married him? Well, I don't think I would have married him. I, I, I can't say that. You know, the circumstances were different. And, I, you know, if I had to explain my relationship, I don't think people would know it. And so, you know, this is a situation between him and I. And I'm like, was it a situation between you and him when he was down there in the hotel room getting his butt boot uh, dug in? No. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't talk about you. He didn't even mention your ass. He didn't talk to you about it. Okay. Now he want to talk about it because his ass was embarrassed. And like I said, I just think, you know, Andrew Gillum could have been governor. Hell, he could have been president. Okay. All he had to do is keep his prostate intact, but he didn't. You can tell by this man's lips in his eyes. He wear mascara and lip gloss. His lip gloss be popping like mine. He's always, I'm telling you, when he really come out the closet, woo, we, we, uh, we are not going to be able to keep up. I'm telling you. He's going to get Mark. Mark got good credit. got an 850. Mm -hmm. Mark done inherited some money from his daddy. His daddy gave him some money to stay the hell away from the family. And he is going to spend it on some black meat. Yes, he is. Go ahead. Now, watch what I tell you. He's going to pop up with somebody named Mark with a tight shirt on. <laughs>